In these problems, we're trying to recognize the graphs of logarithmic functions. And again, on these kinds of graphs, what I would say is let's make a little chart. Let's put in some values for x and see what we get for y. But you want to be careful with your values for x here to make sure they're kind of easy to figure out. And remember, when we're dealing with logs, what this is saying is 2 to what power would give you x. And then in this case, we're going to have to add 3 to that to get the y value. So um, let's see. Let's put in, well, let's put in 2 for x because 2 to the first power is 2, right? So the power then is going to be 1 and then plus 3. Whoops, 1 plus 3 is 4. So the point 2, 4 should be on this graph. And let's see, do we have that anywhere? Well, it looks like 2, 4 is not on there. 2, 4 is not on there. 2, 4 is not on there. Hmm, that's not looking promising. Let's, let's try another one. Uh, let's see. Well, if we put in 1 for x, then the power would be 0. So that would be 1, 3. And the point 1, 3 does not appear to be on any of these graphs either. So it looks like we're going to get a none of these on this one. Let's try one more. This one says y equals the log of 2 of x minus 7 in parentheses. So again, we'll make a chart. This is the log base 2. So uh, let's see if we can get what's inside the parentheses to equal 2. And then that would be to what power? What power uh, do you raise 2 to equal 2? It'll be the first power. So what would I have to put in here to make this equal to 2? Since I've got a minus 7, I have to put in a 9 for x. That would make this a 2, and the expression would then become 1, the first power. So 9, 1 should be on this graph. And looks like it's on B. Doesn't look like it's on A or C. So it might be B or D. Let's see if we can get this to equal uh, 1. So that would be 8. Minus 7 is 1. So 8 and 0 would be the, the power that turns 2 into, into 1. So 8, 0 should be on this graph. And it looks like 8, 0 is on this graph. And as you get closer and closer to 7 here, so 7 and a half, um, uh, the power becomes greater and greater negative. That makes sense. So it looks like b is going to be our answer here. So that's a little bit of work with recognizing graphs of logarithmic functions.